This video is sponsored by GamePrint. GamePrint gives you the ability to 3D print your customized Star Trek online ship with your own ship name and number. Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Visual Review. Uh, we're still working through all the ships that were released in that uh, 10 pack. And today we're going to be looking at the Legendary Temporal Operative Escort. Uh, the skin that we're actually looking at is called the Columbia Class Light Escort. Uh, this is a brand new design and is a reinterpretation of the Light Escort, uh, so that would be the NX class, as it might appear in the 2280s, around the time of Star Trek, the Undiscovered Country. And I gotta say, I am actually really digging this design. This is actually really, really cool. Definite callback to Undiscovered Country uh, with the nacelles there and just the hull in general. Um, there we have these the uh, the deflector down at the bottom So definitely a call back to the NX refit um, I love this grill at the front too. You kind of see some lights uh, Shining through it from the back. I think that's a really cool touch. But yeah, all in all um, Really interesting design uh, Let's take a look at the specs of this ship all right, so here we are with the specs. Uh, so it is a 5-2 with a third slot for an experimental weapon. It comes with an experimental railgun. Uh, it has three device slots, two engineering console slots, four science console slots, and five tactical console slots. It comes with two universal consoles. The first one is the Grappler. This is the one that comes with the T-1 uh, NX class starship. Uh, so literally all it does is you shoot it <laughs> and uh, you literally grapple a uh, an enemy ship. Uh, the other console, I believe this comes with the NX refit that's out of the Lobi store, uh, Point Defense Bombardment Warhead. Uh, so when you have this slotted you get plus 25% projectile weapon damage and plus 1% critical chance. So when you activate this it creates a Point Defense Bombardment Warhead that flies towards a target's current location uh, three times 1733.9 kinetic damage every second to random enemies within a five kilometer radius and when it reaches the target all foes within two kilometers receive 14,409.3 kinetic damage and there is a two minute recharge on that obviously those specs will differ based on how your skill tree and all the other stuff is uh, configured Looking at the mastery, we have preferential targeting. Uh, this is the T5 mastery that comes on the low buy ship, so the NX refit. Um, so once you reach this, um, after using beam fire at will or cannon scatter volley, you get plus 100% damage to beam overload or cannon rapid fire for 30 seconds. And then the T6 mastery, so once you hit this, it unlocks uh, across your account. This one is called field modified overload support. Uh, your hull heals that target your ship recharge your beam overload and emergency power to weapons up to their minimum cooldowns. So uh, uh, this does not, I should note that this does not bypass the minimum cooldowns. So um, yeah, there's that. Uh, taking a look at the stations, we have an Ensign Universal station, a Commander Tactical slash Temporal Ops station, a Lieutenant Commander Tactical Station, a Lieutenant Engineering Station, and a Lieutenant Commander Science Slash Temporal Ops Station. It feels like we... Oh, okay. Well, there's a size comparison. Oh, oh, there's a size comparison for you. There, There's the Vengeance right underneath us, and there's our little ship. Uh, let's see if I can... Wait until we bounce off the hull. There we go. So uh, yeah, there, there's your size comparison, <laughs> if you were curious. Uh, I am in field of view tw 20, so, but uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's a small little ship. All right, let's go to the ship tailor and take a look at what uh, customization options are available to us uh, in there. All right, so here we are in the ship tailor. Let's zoom in a little bit. There is our uh, Columbia class light escort or legendary temporal operative escort. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, the Columbia is uh, 
definitely a callback to the NX and more specifically the NX refit with that secondary uh, hull. Um, I do love me the NX refit, not gonna lie. Uh, but there's the Columbia class, uh, NX class, and NX refit. So those are the three templates that are available to us. Uh, in terms of interior, it just comes with the standard origin bridge, so no special bridge for this ship. Um, windows, it's defaulted to type 6. Uh, I guess we could just keep it right there. Uh, so we have type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4, 5, the default, which actually I think looks the best, and type 0. Type 0 is not bad either. Alright, and then we can, if, I don't know how well this is going to turn out on uh, YouTube with compression and all that, uh, but you can see the coloring. There's like this light blue color that's all over the ship. Uh, you can change that color, so if you want to make it red, you can do that. Um, so there is that. Uh, this one changes, oh, okay. You can see what that color changes, so we can do great green, or bright green. <laughs> I said great green. That's, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the default skin that we're on is called it's, uh, Type 8. Um, we have lots of things to go through, so let's start up at the top with the Defiant. The Defiant skin looks pretty good, actually. And then we have the Galaxy. Galaxy also looks good. I like that. Does it change the color? Nope. Impulse engines are still blue. Uh, Intrepid. That's also really interesting. And red impulse engines at the back. Also the dome is uh, gold. Then we have the NX. And then NX refit. And then the Sovereign. Let me just reset and zoom in here. And then Sovereign refit. And then we have type zero. Type zero looks pretty good too. Yeah, that looks really good. At type one, which is the older skin. I think for these ones, because the older ones, we can just kind of type two. Yeah, look at that deflector. <laughs> Go to type three, type four, type five, type six. No, I don't think type six works. Uh, type seven. Hmm. Type 7 is not too bad. I wonder if we can change that. Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, type 8 was the default. Then we have Type 8B. Which keeps the same kind of uh, little Aztec pattern that's on the hull already. Just makes the skin uh, darker. And takes a... You know what's interesting? We're missing that blue. Let's do that, do that. Oh, the blue is back. Interesting that those colors... Alright, so if you're in the ship, Taylor... <laughs> And you find yourself playing around with the uh, the options. You find that color is missing. Just go ahead and change the template. 
and it should reset the colors. Uh, so there's 8B with the proper colors. That looks better. And then we have upgrade. And then we have veteran. Which is only available to you if you are lifetime. Alright, so let's reset. Let's hit the advanced tab and see what kind of kit bashing we can do. Uh, first thing we're going to check out. Actually, let's put this back to default which was type 8 and it's gonna do that color thing again that's kind of annoying <laughs> but at least we fixed it all right so we got a pattern on here called block 2 we have block 1 let's what well, we're doing this on the actually let's do this on the saucer because it is bigger got some block 2 block 1 Huh. Alrighty. What happens if we do Andromeda? Alright. Well, I've never seen Block 1 and Block 2 before in any visual reviews, so that is definitely interesting. Let's put it back to Block 2, though. Uh, hull. Actually, no. We're on. We're looking at the saucer. So we're at uh, Columbia, and then there's Utopia, and Utopia Refit. Let's take a look at Utopia. Huh, that's kind of interesting. What's the difference between Utopia and Utopia? Oh, okay. So bigger deflector, and there's uh, some changes that happens on the top of the, uh, the saucer. And something with the impulse engines too. And then if we go underneath hull, so we have the Columbia hull. Do we not have secondary hull? No, we don't. Okay, so we can't get rid of the secondary secondary hull, but the hull option seems to change. Okay, there we go. That top part. And it looks like the underneath as well. Yeah. Alright. And then we can put... Let's change the nacelles here. So we have Columbia nacelles. Or we put Utopia or Utopia refit. Hmm. I don't think they suit the ship too much or too well. <laughs> uh, Columbia and then stations, which looks like the pylons. Oh, okay, so that actually did change. Okay, so if you want to get rid of that secondary deflector, that looks odd without it. Yeah. Mm. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. <laughs> There's Columbia, Utopia, and Utopia Refit. The Utopia Refit doesn't look too bad, though. Hmm. All right, let's put it back to Columbia. Uh, I'm going to do a 3D print upload. So if you wanted to have a 3D print of this ship, uh, let's make sure that the skin is correct. There we go. Um, I'll have a link for this down in the description uh, so you can grab that. Use code CEPHFILMS to get 10% off. Uh, so yeah, thank you to our sponsor of this video, GamePrint. GamePrint just launched a new, fully customizable Star Trek Online Starship plaque. The plaque's design is inspired by the iconic ship wall in the USS Enterprise-D's Observation Lounge. This wall featured an Alto Relievo-style display of scale sculptures of six of the Earth vessels previously commissioned as the USS Enterprise. Currently, the plaque is available for most Federation starships. Choose your ship and customize the nameplate's ship name, registry number, commission star date and sector, captain's name, and the ship's slogan.
So here we are in the Solanate Dyson Sphere, and I have to start off by giving a huge shout out to Atched472, uh, who is a big fan of my stuff and wanted to see this particular ship uh, on as many uh, ships as possible. Uh, he has graciously donated a Zenkathy Vanity Shield to me on Holodeck. Um, he also provided me with them on Tribble, uh, but now he uh, he made sure that I have the complete collection here on Holodeck. So thank you very much for uh, helping out and providing that shield. And we'll be using it for the first time here in this video on this ship. So uh, yeah, uh, here's a better, clearer look at the ship in some really good lighting. It's a very smooth and clean looking ship. Um, I was a little bit turned off by the secondary hull here, uh, but it's uh, it's slowly growing on me. It definitely has that Excelsior vibe to it, for sure. You see back here, if we zoom right in, we got the two shuttle bays, which is really cool. Um, let's see if there's anything else that really stand out. I don't notice anything. Oh, there's a docking port at the back of the bridge. I believe that's a docking port. We're, we're going to go with docking port. <laughs> um, yeah, no, just it's a really, really cool design. And I wish I knew who designed it off the top of my head. I cannot recall at the moment. So uh, if you're watching and you designed it, bravo. <laughs> I like it. And I'm also going to have a poll that comes up now. Um, I asked in the last video... Uh, if you would rather just me stay in the Solanay Dyson Sphere or go somewhere else where you have a more real-time look at how the shields look on um, on the ship. So I'll have a poll where you can properly vote and I can properly determine uh, what people uh, what people want. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's let's dive into the shield portion of this video. Starting with the T5 Discovery Rep Shield Array. Yeah, you really notice the pattern there on the uh, the side of the nacelles, but it's very faint on the rest of the hull, to be honest. Next shield. Here is the tier 6 Discovery Rep Vanity Shield. Now we're able to see that pattern a lot more, that T6. This is also a small ship, so it won't take me long to uh, maneuver around it for us to look at, so... This might be a quicker video, hopefully, if I don't ramble like I am right now. Next shield. Here's the adapted Mako shield array. That looks pretty slick on here. I like what it does to the side of the nacelles. That's really cool. I also like that it's not interfering with the registry whatsoever. This is very good. Very nice. Next shield. Here's the Omega Force T5 shield array. Uh, not too bad. I like the yellow accents that's on the ship. Looks pretty cool. Um, over here at the end of the pylon that goes into the nacelle here, looks uh, the graphic there looks a little weird, but overall not too bad. Next shield. Here's the tier 6 Omega Force Vanity Shield. So same pattern, same everything, just everything that is that was yellow is now a bluish purple I think I prefer the yellow accents more to be honest but next shield here is the Borg uh, shield array so we see the assimilation the bottom some of the nacelles really isolated towards the back of the uh, the saucer uh, not too much on the front. We got a little bit on the front, but that's really about it. Uh, turn the blue lights that was behind this grill into green lights too, which is cool. Uh, let's throw in the deflector and the engines. Okay, so I was not expecting that to happen with the deflector. <laughs> I thought it was going to be down here. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Well, there's the deflector, which is in a weird spot. And I saw comments, actually, 
I'm going to address it now. Um, I keep forgetting to put the assimilated module on. I apologize. I'll try and rectify that for the next video. Um, yeah, there's the engine part that's on the top of the nacelle. There's the impulse engine. I think it, this is just kind of like if this was the NX, the deflector would have been here on the front of the ship and not down there. Uh, so I think that's what's happening here. Funny nonetheless, though. <laughs> Next shield. The Nukara T5 shield array. I kind of hate it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not not too much of a fan of it. Uh, next shield. Here is the tier six Nukara vanity shield. And I kind of hate this one too. I think section thirty one will look really good on here though. Hopefully. Next shield. Here is the Romulan shield array. T five, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Next shield, the Riemann shield array. All that shine. The nacelles definitely look interesting. Hmm. Not too bad. Next shield, the new Romulus Riemann vanity shield. I like this one. This looks nice. sleek looking uh, next shield the T5 Dyson shield array also not bad I mean it's similar to how it looked like default skin wise so I think that's why it doesn't look bad so I mean it's good <laughs> next shield here's the tier 6 Dyson rep vanity shield it's all subjective you might like it I don't and that's okay next shield the counter command t5 shield array hmm I don't know you know what up here <sighs> It's it's not bad. I'm a little irked that it's uh, cutting through my registry. Uh, we got polka dots on the nacelles too. I don't know, from right here, this angle, it actually doesn't look too, too bad. But at the same time, I just my brain is just like, what? I don't know. Anyway, next shield. And here is the, T, the T6 counter command uh, vanity shield. Yeah, I don't think I'm feeling this one all that much. It's the polka dots that's killing it for me on this one. Next shield. The Delta Alliance T5 shield array. I like that. I like the light shining. That looks really good. That looks so good. Very nice. Next shield. And here's the tier 6 Delta sh uh, Vanity Shield. This one looks pretty good too. Next shield. Here's the tier 5 Iconian Shield Array. <laughs> I mean, it's looked worse on other ships. That's that's the only good thing I have to say. Uh, next shield. Here's the tier six Iconian rep uh, vanity shield. Hmm. 
again, it has looked worse on other ships. I just, I don't know what the hell is going on here with the top pod. That just looks like static. Like, like static from a static TV. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, next shield. The Terran Task Force T5 Shield Array. Mm, that looks good. So good. Yes, that looks really, really, really good. <laughs> I had to censor myself there for a second. That looks so good. Oh, I like it. Next shield. Uh, here's the tier 6 uh, Terran Task Force Vanity Shield. Also looks good. I do like it. I mean, the... the pull, uh, I don't know. I like it. Though that looks like a power button on the top. This is how you turn on the ship. You go out and you just press the top and it powers everything on. <laughs> uh, next shield. The Temporal Defense T5 Shield Array. Mm. Yeah, not for me. Oh, well. next shield. Here's the tier six temporal defense vanity shield. Eh, not too bad, I guess. Definitely better than a T five, in my opinion. Next shield. Here's the Lucari T5 shield array, i.e. the Tron shield. And again, it looks like a lot of the Tron is... Oh, well, we got a little bit on the top, but... Really just centered around the uh, the saucer here. We have a little bit around the, the shuttle base at the back and the secondary hull there. And some around the bridge, mo bridge module and these little cutouts, but... No, I was expecting more. Still looks good, though. Next shield. And here is the tier 6 Lucari uh, Vanity Shield. So pretty much the same as the T5, just pinkish. Yeah. Next shield. Here's the Competitive War Games T5 Shield Array. So... Eh, not too bad. Hmm. It's not bad, I guess. Uh, next shield. And here's the tier 6 competitive war games vanity shield. So all the diamond stuff stands out a lot more. I did notice this on the bottom of the hall, but it didn't stand out too much. I did not notice that, though. Or that right there or that around the edge <laughs> hmm. next shield the t5 gamma rep shield array not too bad i don't know if it suits the ship but it doesn't look horrible uh, next shield and here is the tier 6 Gamma Rep Vanity Shield. Hmm. Always like the color, just... I don't know. Next shield. And we're going to do baseball shields. This is the Slime Devils uh, Vanity Shield. Straight out of Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> Next shield. Uh, the Bozeman Titans. Not too bad. Next shield. The Ferenginar Liquidators. The Cation Claws. The Deep Space Niners. 
Oof. It's uh, too much red. <laughs> And the Vulcan Logicians. Next shield. All right, here we are with the Aegis Shield Array. Not too bad. Pretty clean looking. Really, it just looks like the normal Type 8 skin with a little bit of extra white lighting on some of the edges but looks good nonetheless next shield <laughs> oh, hello breen shield <laughs> oh dear god oh dear god uh, here's the Bajor Defense Shield Array. I kind of like the pattern that it does on the side, or the inside of the, uh, the nacelles there. Next shield, the Jem'Hadar Shield Array. This is the Mission Reward Shield Array, by the way. This one just looks not great. <laughs> Next shield. All right, here's the Herc Lockbox Vanity Shield. <laughs> it's not a bad color combination. I just don't like the nacelle part. Next shield, the Ferengi Lockbox Vanity Shield. I think this one also might have to be a nope for me. Again, this is all subjective. Next shield, the Kelvin Divergence Lockbox Vanity Shield. Doesn't look too bad. We don't have those really bad Bizarre collectors. I just saw that server not responding message. I kind of had a mini moment of uh, uh oh. Yeah, not too bad. Next shield. Here's the Discovery Lockbox Vanity Shield. Oh, yes, please. That graphic on the side is a little weird, but other than that, very nice. I love, yeah, I like it. I like it very much. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Next shield. The Emperor's Lockbox Vanity Shield. This one looks good, too. Very, very nice. Yeah, that looks good. I like how all, like, the, um, the red and yellow uh, lines really pop out on this shield. That looks good. Next shield, the Section 31 Lockbox Vanity Shield. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks really good. <laughs> I can't, I, I'm a little speechless at the moment. That looks really, really, really good. Yeah. Next shield, here is the Zenkethi. Lockbox Vanity Shield that was donated to us, as I said uh, at the beginning of this segment. Very interesting. It kind of looks like this ship was a model. It was dropped and shattered into pieces and somebody tried to glue it back together. That's what I'm getting from all these lines. I also like the blinking white lights here in the middle. That's pretty cool. Next shield. Here's the pink vanity shield. Pink Tron. Why couldn't the Lucari look like this? If the Lucari had just looked like this, it would have been amazing. This one is amazing too. 
Next shield. Here is the Fakiri Vanity Shield. Is it gonna do what I think it's gonna do? It didn't do it. Damn. I thought maybe the um, the sides of the nacelles were gonna. Oh yeah, there's a little shimmer of red there, but. Oh well. Next shield. And the newest vanity shield, the Borg vanity shield. This looks amazing. I love the detail here on the underside of the saucer. I love what's going on on the nacelles here. That, oh. That looks really, really good. I like that a lot. Very nice. And that is it for the visual review. Uh, I want to thank you very much for coming and watching this video. Please hit, a, hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Um, leave a comment down below what shield you thought looked the best on this ship or what you think about the ship in general, uh, design-wise or stat-wise or whatever. Uh, thank you to our sponsor, Gameprint, for sponsoring this video and the channel again. And uh, yeah, and again, thank you very much for watching. Um, I should be doing the next visual review will probably be the Sovereign class uh, so keep an eye out for that uh, I am feeling a little bit under the weather so there might be a, a little delay by uh, getting that video out uh, it'll come out eventually uh, check out my patreon link down in the description below if you want to be a uh, patreon supporter of the channel uh, it gives you access to the Discord, uh, behind-the-scenes stuff, and early access to some videos. Thank you again very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thank you.